So I've been MIA, like really, really, really MIA. I figured the best way to come back is with a hair review. So today I'm going to be doing a hair review on the Eunice Peruvian Jerry Curl hair. So if you guys were interested in getting this hair or wanted more information about this hair, stay tuned for this video because I'm about to tell you guys right now. Leave me lonely for pretty women. You know I need too much attention for things like that. You know you're wrong for things like that. I could Unis is giving me a discount code to give to you guys so that's my little gift to you you guys can use my coupon code cooper4 for money off when you purchase hair from Unis. so go ahead and use that code I just want to say that if you are looking for a Unis Peruvian curly hair that's not it no more it's called Unis Peruvian jerk curl and this is not the natural color because I know it probably looks really dark on camera I've colored this hair in a blue black color and I use the ion brand color and I used about three boxes of that hair dye I also dyed the closure so um, I did not bleach my knots on the closure though I just so made the wig and that's it I have no leave out anywhere besides like my little baby hairs in the front shipping is always pretty good with you niece and that's kind of important with the holidays so if you want to buy the hair this week you'll have it in time by Christmas get you your hair so you will get your hair on time and you won't be waiting forever so you sent me this little weaving cap as a little gift I thought that was really cute um, and this is the little car cartoons on the back so I'm gonna use it at some point in my life like I don't know when, but I'm going to use it for my life. Um, I have this hair in the inches 24, 24, 24, and 18. So that's three bundles of 24 inch and one 18 inch closure. First, when I bought the hair, I thought it wasn't going to be enough hair because you know how when you first buy curly hair, the curls are like stuck together. So I was like, oh man, I should have got another bundle. But I'm happy with the three. Like literally, three was just enough to finish my wig and three looks great like I really do like it and I'm happy I got three bundles if you want really 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 big look at me new year new me type hair then you can get four bundles if you want to but I don't even think I could fit all that on my head so I'm happy with the uh, three bundles and the closure so the closure is 18 inches it's actually a lot shorter than the 24 inch obviously because it's curly hair too but if you guys want to see a comparison if you want to maybe get shorter hair an 18 inch would be about what shoulder length on me so that's something to keep in mind that's why I got longer hair birthday is actually next week December 22nd so I wanted some hair that was gonna allow me to stand out that I really didn't have to do too much to as far as like curling and stuff like yes curly hair is high maintenance I do want to say that if you're buying curly hair you're gonna have to take care of it and this hair is gonna be a bit more high maintenance but it's not going to be as high maintenance as like a tighter kinky curl would be if you guys get what I'm saying if you've had kinky curly hair then you already know that that hair is problematic but this one is not I don't think it's gonna be that big of a problem I've had this hair on my head for about two days I made the wig three days ago and I wore it out and it behaved wonderfully like it's still moisturized and it's actually pretty cold here wash this hair with the suave shampoo and the suave uh, conditioner and then I deep conditioned it with the Zimoy three minute repair deep conditioner and I just left that in overnight before I made the wig hair is really nice I don't have any product in this hair all I have in this hair is argon oil syrup all i did was after i made the wig i washed the wig again and while the hair was wet i just used argon oil in it i don't think i'm going to do the whole wash and go method with this hair because i don't want product buildup. i get it it's curly hair but i like it big and fuzzy and you can still see like the you can still clearly see the definition in the curls without me putting product if you want it more of a water wave look then you would do the wash and go method or if you want it, um, maybe you're not going to be able to do your hair for a few days or you don't want to wet it, then, then you can do the wash and go method. But yeah, the hair is very, very, very soft. Like it is very soft. I'm not getting any tangling in the back as of now. But like I did say to you guys, I don't wear this wig every day. So that will make a difference in the longevity of your hair and the maintenance of your hair if you're wearing it every night. The, the hair so far is not tangling up on me in the back it's not nappy it's still moving it feels really soft and moisturized I highly recommend deep conditioning the hair 
at least once or twice a week just to keep it manageable and um, moisturized. So shedding, um, that's the question everybody wants to know with curly hair. So rake, initially just raking my hands through the hair, I'm not getting any shedding as of now. Let me not say I'm not getting any, but I'm not getting bad shedding. So hair is gonna shed, but I don't know if you guys can see this. I only have a few strands in my in my hand right now and that's not bad for curly hair curly hair does shed so don't get curly hair thinking it's not going to shed or anything like that you shouldn't really be putting your hands in this hair all the time because that's how you're going to get the shedding and the matting just as you would with your natural hair if you play with your natural hair all day of course it's going to get dry tangled matted and it's going to come out so that's how you want to care for your curly hairs. I did see one girl says she was getting some bad shedding, but I, maybe she got a bad batch. But as of now, I think I got a good batch and I'm going to do a follow up review on this hair a little later after I've worn it more. This is just my initial opinion. So as far as my closure, I don't, you guys know I'm not a closure expert hair guru by any means i'm just a normal college student making my own wigs to save some money I didn't do anything to the closure i did not do anything to the closure at all besides dye the hair on the closure i don't know if you guys can see it but the root of the closure is straight and i kind of like it i feel like it makes the hair lay down on my face and she kind of shaped my face. I know some people don't like it, but I like it. So about an inch of the roots of your hair and the closure is going to be straight. So if you have a problem with that, then that's something to think about. I do have a free part closure in, and I like the free part closure better than the middle part closure. I think I'm only going to get free part closures from now on because you have more utility with a free part closure in the way that you part the hair than you do with just like a middle part closure or a side part closure. Do they even have side part closures? Because there's no like specific way I'm supposed to be parting the hair. Shipping was good. I think it's very, I think the price point is good. The hair is very soft. It's retaining its moisture. Like I told you guys, I don't have product in it. I just have oil in this hair. So I think it's doing very well. Shedding is minimal as of now. Napping in the back is not happening, but I will do another uh, review on this hair a little bit later on to give you guys like the full gist of the hair. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about this hair. If you were thinking about getting this hair, I would definitely say get it. I think it's a good investment. I think it's very pretty. Make sure that you guys use my discount code COOPER4 for money off at your checkout. And stay tuned for all my other videos. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Maybe she could come love you after we're done. What's done is done. I don't want nothing else to do with it.